new studio, same educational drone influencer extraordinaire, me. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about one of our most dynamic skills, orbit. The orbit skill could be performed if you are flying with either the Skydio 2 app, the beacon, or the controller. When Skydio 2 is performing the orbit skill, it will fly in a continuous circle around a subject. Skydio 2 will continue to circle the subject at a set distance, height, and speed. If you are flying with the app, you can initiate orbit by navigating to the skills menu and tapping the orbit icon. Then, select a subject to track, and Skydio 2 will begin to orbit that subject. This is also how to initiate orbit if you are flying with the controller. If you're flying with the beacon, you can find the orbit skill in the cinematic mode selector. Once you select orbit, Skydio 2 will automatically begin orbiting around the subject holding the beacon. Once an orbit has been initiated in the app, you have the option to adjust several settings. You can use the up and down arrows to adjust the height of Skydio 2. The plus minus buttons will allow you to adjust the distance that Skydio 2 is orbiting you from, while maintaining the same angle of filming. Use the slider to adjust the speed and direction in which Skydio 2 is orbiting. If the slider is to the left, Skydio 2 will orbit clockwise. If the slider is to the right, Skydio 2 will orbit counterclockwise. The further away the slider is from center, the faster Skydio 2 will orbit. If you are flying with the beacon, you can use the plus minus buttons to adjust the distance Skydio 2 is tracking you from. You can use the arrow buttons to adjust the speed and orbit direction of Skydio 2. You can also use drag and drop with the orbit skill. Using drag and drop, will allow you to simultaneously adjust Skydio 2's height, direction of orbit, and speed of orbit. To use drag and drop, point the beacon at Skydio 2 and press and hold the blue Skydio button. Then, point the beacon to the height you want Skydio 2 to fly at, trace a line in the direction you want Skydio 2 to orbit, and release the blue Skydio button. Skydio 2 will begin a new orbit in the direction you have traced, and the speed of orbit will be dependent on how far and how fast you move the beacon. If you are flying in an open landscape, set your orbit height low to the ground for sweeping cinematic footage. You can use orbit when tracking vehicles but remember to never fly above a public road. While using the orbit skill, your Skydio 2 will be covering a wide area, so be aware of any obstacles the drone will need to avoid. As always, Skydio 2 will maintain full obstacle avoidance while performing the orbit skill. And with that, I'd say it's time to write an obituary for manual drones, bonk out. If you've been watching my videos but haven't subscribed or turned on notifications, are you okay? You know that I have a full-time job outside of this and I'm just doing this for free, right? Same studio. <laughs> New studio. Same educational influencer drone extraordinaire, I mixed that up.